electricians from UNICEF came down to the ground and they trained the EPI focal person about the fridge, how to maintain it, taking care of it, uh, the solar panels, how you can store the vaccines inside, uh, defrosting. Uh, the one we were having uh, used to have a lot of mechanical issues and at some times it used even to switch off itself. We had no other means, yes, of keeping those vaccines safe and still potent and effective. Children were brought and we tell them, please come back on this day, come back on this day. It was very bad when mothers miss their days, when like, like you have given them the return date and they find a vaccine are not there. They have to wait for the vaccine from another facility. Sometimes they lose morale and you find they, you're, not, you're now going to look for them, they will not come back. The another advantage it has, it is spacious. Uh, it has a lot of space inside and it can accommodate um, really a good number of doses of vaccines. The old one used to be compacted, it had limited space. They are also using solar energy. That's a big advantage in terms of um, increasing access to areas that are hard to reach and they don't have uh, access normally to electric power, saving on power costs significantly. They also have another advantage in a way, they all have real-time sensors, meaning they can be monitored remotely. Combined, that's we see to be a big move in terms of expanding the capacity, saving on energy, taking us into climate-friendly technologies and of course giving us the capacity to monitor them remotely. Another advantage, it looks very beautiful. It attracts mothers to come and get vaccinated. Every person who enters inside is like, wow, this is a very big, good thing. You find they are saying, what is this? Why is it, what is the, its use? Then you explain to them and then they are like, okay, I will bring my child for vaccine. Really, it was a very good boost for our facility. The numbers have increased in a way that they know immunization takes place on a daily basis.